So a new product that we have are these lighted collars that uh, we use on our own dogs. I've seen these years and years ago at some of the pet shows and I thought they were kind of, I don't know, hunky-dory. I wasn't that impressed with them until uh, my wife and I now have three small dogs and we live on 45 acres on the edge of town and one of them, the little five pound, six pound Shih Tzu is solid black. The Border Terrier is brown. And the Border Terrier is 13. Uh, Rosie, the Shih Tzu is now eight. And I think they talk to one another when they are gonna go outside at the end of the day before we put them to bed at night. I think that Stella says, I'll go that way. Rosie says, I'll go that way. We're on 45 acres, they come when they called most of the time, <laughs> especially when I have a remote collar on them and I've never stimulated them once, I only use a vibration. But they go different ways. And until I started using these lighted collars a few years ago, uh, I didn't know where they were at night and it used to frustrate me and stress me out. So now each of them has their own collar. Stella has an orange collar, Rosie has uh, a yellow collar. And now when I take them out, it's simple to see where they're at. These collars that we've just taken on as products have been, have evolved over the years. And I really like these. They can be three different levels. There's a little button on the side here that I can turn it on and it'll blink. I can push that button again, it'll blink slower. I can push that button again and it stays on like this. I push it a fourth time and it goes off. There's a little charging port on the side where I'm gonna show you in a minute how we charge with a USB charger. Now with my two little dogs, uh, I don't charge them maybe once a month because when I take them out, they're only out there for a half an hour and they really hold a charge for a long, long time. I even think, like we have a two-year-old German Shepherd He's a big boy, he goes probably 80 pounds. Yeah, we live in a rural community. We don't walk him downtown at night, but if people do have to walk at night with a larger dog, I don't think there's anything wrong with having this on your dog. If you're in a rural area and you're walking a big black German Shepherd and there's other people coming at you and they don't even see the dog, it helps when this is on there. Not because you have to happen to have a reactive dog, I hope you don't, but you don't want to scare people either. So it's a slick thing, plus traffic can see them. God forbid your dog would get loose at night and run out in the street. At least they'd have a chance if they had one of these on because the, the drivers would see it. So they don't cost a lot of money, but it's a really good and I think important tool for a lot of people that have an application to use them on their dog. What I'm gonna do here is we're gonna turn the lights back on and I'm gonna show you, number one, how the buttons work, how these come apart, and how you can cut them to make them fit your dog. You can cut them and it's a simple, simple thing to do. We're gonna show you a close-up picture of how to do it with the lights on. So now we're gonna show you how to shorten this up so it fits your dog's neck. There's a little collar right here. And it's separated a little bit because I've had this apart. You can push it together. I'm gonna show you this one, see how tight that is when it comes from the factory? We've had this one apart. Now I'm gonna show you how to cut it and how it works. There's two parts to this. There's the sleeve, which you can pull back like that. See how that sleeve moves up and down on that? Goes up like that, holds it in place, comes back. Now you have to t pull this end out. There's no all you do is grab it and pull it apart. That's all there is in it. See this and that? Slide it together, pull the sleeve on, and you're gonna to have to push it and work it a little bit, a lot, to get it on there so it holds. Just like that, and then it all goes together, like I said, with lining this and this up, just like that. Now this could be pushed closer, but I'm gonna cut this right now so you can see it. 
pull it apart, pull this down. We're going to cut this baby. I'll turn it off. I don't want to get electrocuted. We'll cut it right here. Doesn't cut that easy, but it cuts. So I just cut it. Here's the piece that had the light coming up there. And that was in here, and that's normal. You don't keep any of that. To test it, to see if it still works, we can still go back and turn it on and see how it's blinking. And that's with this, that's with this cut off. So there's, after you cut it, there's nothing to it. Then you just have to stick it back together. And force it together, put your collar on, and the, probably the first time if you do it, it doesn't just slide on, it's not meant to slide on, but it has to go in and it has to lock here. So you need to make sure when you put it back together, I'm gonna pull this again apart, put that on like that, then line up the hole in the tab like this, then slide them together, and it's locked on like that. So it's just that simple. So that's how you're gonna, that's how you're gonna shorten it up to fit your dog. And with my dogs, Rosie's one size, Stella's a different size. So Rosie has a yellow collar at night and Stella has the orange one. You know exactly which dog is which when they're outside running around.